Welcome to Mancinelli's Math Lab. This was a requested question. This is from exam FM number 37, so please look at the question. Please read it five to a hundred times as usual. I have my number line here. Um, it's looking at a per perpetuity, and the first, uh, we have a dividend payment of something. I'm just going to call it D. So let's let um, D equal the value of first dividend. <clears throat> so now let's write out on my number line here uh, the situation at hand. So the very first payment, as we mentioned, is D. And we know that these payments increase by 2%. So I'm not going to go through the details of how to arrive at this, but that just means basically the second payment is 1.02 uh, times D. Uh, the third payment is 1.02 squared times D, and so on. So go through the argument as to why those are going to be my payments, but Anytime you see a question that says something like it increases by 2%, you have this situation here. <clears throat> now we want to know what is the Macaulay duration. So let me write down first what is the formula for the Macaulay duration. Uh, MACD um, is equal to the sum. So it's the sum of T V to the T um, R T divided by the sum of, well, it's just the price, divided by the price. The price is V to the T R T. So here, um, I'm using R. Sometimes you see C F sub T. Sometimes you see all sorts of things. But what does this represent? Uh, the R T is just the cash flow at time T. So hopefully that's that's nothing new to you. Um, let's go ahead and compute this then. I'm going to use uh, I'm going to do it separately. I'm going to do the numerator first and then the denominator. So uh, what is um, this business? So what is the sum of t v to the t r t? Uh, well, the first value of t is going to be one. So I'm going to write this out. This is 1 times v to the 1 times r1 plus 2 times v squared r sub 2 plus 3 v cubed r sub 3 and so on. Let's fill in what we have. This is equal to 1 times v to the 1. Uh, r, what is r? Remember, r is just the cash flow at time t. r sub t is the cash flow at time t. Uh, so r sub 1 is just d, because the cash flow at time 1 is d. Plus 2 v squared. The cash flow at time 2 is 1.02 times d, plus 3 uh, v cubed, 1.02. 2 squared d and so on <clears throat> let's factor out a d and then hopefully we can recognize what this is in fact I want to factor out um, a d as well as a v so this is equal to dv times quantity um, 1 plus 2 uh, times v times 1.02 plus 3 times v squared times 1.02 squared. I'm going to write one more term actually um, so that you'll hopefully recognize what we need to do next. So 4 times v cubed times 1.02 cubed and so on. This on the <clears throat> this over here on the right hand side looks a lot like 
um, an increasing annuity, but you need to think about whether it's an increasing annuity due or an increasing annuity uh, immediate. And also, furthermore, um, it's an infinite increasing annuity, right? It goes on forever, so it's not finite. So I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to do something else, though. Um, this is equal to the following. And you should absolutely be used to this sort of situation. This will come up. Um, this is frequent enough that I think you should know this little trick. So this is 1 plus um, 2 times, I'm going to call it V uh, hat or V bar plus 3 V bar squared plus 4 V bar cubed and so on. So where did this V bar come from out of nowhere? Uh, the idea is that you want to recognize and this is part of the motivation as to why I factored out a V is because now the powers of V and the powers of um, this factor 1.02 they coincide right v to the 1 1.02 1 to the 1 v squared 1.02 1 squared they coincide so what I'm getting at here is that my v bar is equal to it's equal to I'm gonna write it this way 1.02 v and by the way v was given to be one uh, well i is given to be 0.05 i is given to be 0 0.05 which means, what am I really saying about V bar? V bar is equal to 1.02 divided by 1.05. And, and by the way, let's just do that real quick. Uh, 1.02 divided by 1.05 is 0.9714. By the way, anytime you get some sort of quantity for a V, it better be less than 1. So this is 0 0.09714. So now, I'm going to have to use this uh, because you need to recognize what this is. This right here, as I mentioned, uh, it's an increasing um, annuity. Is it due or immediate? This is an increasing annuity due. So you need to recognize that. Increasing annuity due. And it's infinite. There's a formula for this, and you just you just have to know it. I mean, period. There's no time to go through the derivation as to what it is. Um, so this is actually equal to d, my very first, uh, the value of my first dividend payment, times v, times. Now this, what is this? This is actually one over d squared. Again, I mean, you just have to know this. This is um, the formula for an increasing annuity uh, due that is infinite. So the question is, what is D? And what does D represent? D is the discount rate. D is the discount rate. So um, uh, if you remember, there's a relationship uh, between D and V. Um, there are well, there are several right, but um, one of them is the following. So, but but we know that one minus v bar actually, because uh, this is pertaining to v bar, right? One minus v bar is equal to d. Uh, so this tells me. Let's just use the calculator because we have um, we have everything we need. Here's this this uh, v bar. So what is d here? D is equal to the following. So here's my here's my V bar. We just computed that. Uh, one minus that. So one minus this is D. So D is the following: zero point zero two eight five seven. And so let's just let's just keep track of this because um, I'm going to need this. So I have this piece, and I have this. Uh, what is the price? Because remember, this is the price. For Macaulay duration, this is just really the price at time zero. So that's what we're going to compute as well. And I'm not going to I'm not going to finish this other piece off yet because I want to uh, simplify some stuff. So the price, so the sum 
of uh, v to the t r sub t. Again, this is the price. Hopefully you're familiar with that. Um, this is equal to, it's pretty much the same thing, except for we don't have an increasing um, annuity due. So literally, I mean, go through the exact same argument. You should get dv times 1 plus, um, again, it's the exact same thing. It's just this piece. Look up here. It's this without the 2, 3, 4, etc. So it's 2. Um, oh, sorry, no 2. I just said that. v bar plus v bar squared plus v bar cubed and so on. This is just a geometric series. It's very easy, right? So this is equal to dv. Now, now this is v. This is v bar. So these are different. And v bar is defined to be the exact same thing I mentioned earlier. So this is dv times uh, geometric sum infinite. Uh, it sums to the first term over 1 minus the common ratio. And by the way, the common ratio, which is v bar, is less than 1. And it better be, otherwise this geometric series won't converge. V bar is 0.9714, less than 1, it converges. So this does converge. Let's find the Macaulay duration then. So hopefully you're seeing what I'm getting at here. I just need these two components here. I have this, and I have this. And we have everything. So Macaulay duration is the quotient of dv times 1 over the discount rate squared divided by dv times 1 over 1 minus v bar. Uh, the dv's cancel, and so I get um, 1 over d squared. Let me write it this way. Uh, 1 over d we got over here. So this is 1 divided by 0 0.02857 squared divided by uh, 1 um, over 1 minus, now we computed v bar as well, so 0 0.9714. And again, I mean, you always have to be careful with rounding um, for this exam. Uh, I recommend going to the, the fourth decimal place, so tenths, hundredths, thousandths, uh, ten thousandths. Let's just go ahead and do this together. Let's just make sure this is right. Um, so, I'm just going to compute this. This is, uh, I already have it in my calculator, fortunately. So, this is 1 divided by this business. I need to square it. And then I need to divide this by um, 1 divided by 1 minus. And I actually have this already saved. It's up here. So, let's do that. Make sure you have the right parentheses. And I get 34.99999, blah, blah, blah. So this is 35. I think the answer was B. I don't know. But this is definitely right. It's 35. So I just want to mention something. I looked at the answer um, after I did this. I looked at what SOA did. Quite clever. Obviously, if you think about it, if you go through it, it does make sense. But it is quite clever. I'm doing it this way because this is what I would have done had I got this on an exam. Obviously, I wouldn't have filled in all the details. and It would be quite more efficient with my work. But I mean, this was what this is the approach I would have personally used. So I hope that you found this helpful. Tell me what you think, and uh, please like the video and subscribe.